In this video, we will investigate the Parseval Plancarel identity, which is named after the French mathematician Marc Antoine Parseval and the Swiss mathematician Michel Plancarel. It states that the integral over the absolute square of a function does not change after a Fourier transformation. So, if we have, for example, a wave function psi of x, which is normalized, then it is guaranteed that its Fourier transform psi tilde of p is also normalized. To start the proof, we separate the absolute square of psi into psi and its complex conjugate. We now write both of them individually as the Fourier transform of psi tilde, which is given in momentum space. This means we now have three integrations over x, p and p prime, and we must take care of the complex conjugate in the second terms. Since psi tilde depends on p and p prime, the only terms that have an x are the exponential functions. An integral over exponential functions like this can be turned into a delta function. Since this absorbs 1 over 2 pi, what remains are the integrals over p and p prime, psi tilde and its conjugate, as well as a delta function. This delta function makes it really easy to perform the integral over p prime as well, so that only psi tilde and its complex conjugate remain which we can combine to the absolute square of psi tilde. This means we successfully derived the parseval plancarel identity. This was a purely mathematical approach, but by using some knowledge of quantum mechanics and Dirac's Braquette notation, we can derive this identity much quicker. Consider the Braquette expression psi psi. We write the identity operator in between the states, which we can now express in two ways. On the one hand, we can insert a completeness relation using the position space basis, and on the other hand, we can do so by using the momentum space basis. Since both cases started from the same expression, they must be equal, and we found the parseval plancarel identity again. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching.